Hi guys, welcome to the video. Now I know that this is not the nightfall this week, but this is my run of the master glassway from last week. And I was too ill to commentate it, so it's kind of sat in hibernation. It's been hibernating on my, my hard drive till now. And I figured I would get it out just so I keep the collection of masters up to date of all the ones that I've done. I've still got two heroic story missions to put up, which I will put up to date. I might commentate both of them, just because I know you guys prefer it if I explain what I'm doing as I do it. So, all the weapons I've used, they're very similar to the Legend version I've done. I'm using the Crate, the Under Your Skin, the Galahorn. Mods are the same, Lucent Finisher on the Bond, uh, Double Void Resist on the chest plate, uh, and obviously uh, uh, Anti-Barrier Bow and Overload uh, Auto Rifle, and I've got Overload Grenades on. I've got a send, uh, ch uh, Elemental Charge, so when I pick up an Elemental Will, which I will make from Grenades, I will get charged with light, which feeds the Galahorns uh, the charge of light build, the charge of light mod I've got on for the Galahorn, which is Arden Ordnance. So I get 20% damage with the Galahorn, which kind of negates the 40%. Well, you get a 25% damage with void weapons. So if I'd have used a void rocket launcher, they would do 20% more damage. So now I'm getting 25% more damage so now i'm getting 20 20 percent more damage on my galahorn so i didn't really want to use any of the void rocket launchers quite simply because they're not very good right now if you enjoy using them that's fine you know i'm not saying that they're rubbish I'm far from it i'm just saying they're not very good compared to i mean i'm, I'm you know a lot of people will run lemon arc on this same as last week's nightfall uh, somebody even said on the video why not just use risk runner and be done with it because that's what everybody's running. I just want to give people a different, you know, you can run basically your fate, you know, some of your favorite weapons and make them work with with a, with a little bit of care in your build. Speaking of which, I've got a Titan build I'm going to put out. You guys are going to love this. It is super powerful. But anyway, that's that's for another video. Anyway, so I, I'm I'm you can see there I've got charge for light times two. And because and I, I changed to my rocket launcher, and if you if you were noticing, you'd have seen God Slayer warheads pop up, which is tell, lets me know that I've got charge for light. And the only thing I've got that can use charge for light is my Arden ordnance. So getting kills with weapons or whatever will not use my charge of light. So overload ro grenades are going to be our main weapon against the overload champions. The auto rifle is really good. And if I need to finish off an Overload, I will use the Auto Rifle because it will do more damage uh, against against Overloads than the Bow will. Now, I wasted two rockets there, and I'm glad kind of I did because these are these barriers. You really have to be far away from the barrier to just hit them with stuff like that, or waiting immediately till after they've teleported. They, right there, but as you've seen, these barriers now, they're, they're, I don't know what it is with Bungie and their teleporting ads, but you've made it, Bungie, if you're listening, which they're not, but you've made it more difficult enough of making us choose specific weapons to match the champion mods. You've made it difficult enough with us having to have weapons that match the element. Now having the ads be able to shield each other and teleport and come on, man. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is Lucent Finisher is is a great is a, is a great mod. As I say, it goes on your class class item, produces heavy on kills with uh, kills against champions and Lucent Hive for you and your teammates. So I can see that being a must-have in GMs. Uh, get the Hunter and Viz and get them to the Finisher. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I'm not. I'm not. Not taking the mech, I'm just saying that's going to be the strategy. Uh, and heavies are going to be able to be implemented more often because Lucent Finisher doesn't use any of your abilities. Whereas beforehand, finishers that gave you heavy required you to either use a certain exotic or use some of your uh, super energy in order to perform said finisher. Now, put my I, the reason why I stayed here, I didn't run into cover is because I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of stopping that overload again. And just a quick thing, I'm sure most people know this, but if you don't, a little bit of information. 
once you stop an overload, right, if you keep hitting that overload with your overload weapon, you will visibly see one, once, because he kind of goes down, he's like, ugh, he's kind of hurt. And then he stands up, and he's got the, the shiny tentacles letting you know you can't overload him at that point, same as Unstoppables have it. But what they don't, what, what overloads do have, is you can, if you keep hitting them with an overload weapon, you'll stun them, but it's not a stun, it's like a stagger. And what that does is that stops them from being able to uh, regenerate their health. So it's worthwhile, uh, it's worthwhile putting overload weapons onto them. I'm just going to get rid of this this champion uh, real quick here with a with a finisher. Just just I didn't have to. Uh, I could I could have uh, there was a, a brick of heavy to a right, so I could have just picked up that heavy and be done with it. The first three rooms in this Nightfall are kind of similar in, in their makeup. There's two waves of ads. There's a wave that's there when you get in. These last two rooms, there's also a boss in each room. Uh, and then once you clear those and you move up a bit, then you'll get another champion with ads. When you first come into this room, that, these used to be the trickiest rooms. They're not, not really tricky anymore. I'm not even sure if they've done something with the glassway or whether the mystique of the glassway is gone. But this boss... He will throw that stasis need, and that can cause you a lot of problems. Just want to take out this champion. The ads that push you here are always going to be shanks, right? Sometimes the boss will come after you, but as you can see, you've got this rock here. What we're wanting to do, I've got my super, I've got my grenade. I'm not really wanting to let this boss have his, have his, uh, his way. So I'm just going to put a grenade and the Nova straight on him. That's it. That's that's all, all. All he needed that forty percent additional damage. That from the so it's an acute burn. That you take fifty percent more. Uh, in, in 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 the case of the glass weights void, you take fifty percent more void damage in this strike, but you deal twenty five percent more void damage. So, if you put on two void resists, that negates the fifty percent extra damage because two void resists give you 40% additional void so really with those mods I'm taking 10% more void damage you know so as you can see there I'm getting hit by that server if I didn't have the 40% additional resist against void the, the server would be hitting me a lot harder but this strike and it's probably what makes the glass way unique in its annoyance as this strike is basically two strikes tacked together because you've got, as you've seen, we haven't seen one single Vex yet. And there, there actually isn't a ton of Void damage up to now. The servers are it. That's it. Once you get to the boss, it's Void City. It's Vex City. There's no Fallen. So it's... It used to be really difficult. I, 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 I used to find it frustrating in the respects of setting my character up for the whole strike. Because I felt like... I'd done three quarters of the strike with weapons that weren't great for that strike to make sure I had the right weapons for the boss because the boss was where the difficulty was. You're getting to the boss in about 14 minutes and then you're 20 minutes at the boss. You know, which is it's not too bad because normally the way bosses in Destiny 2 now work is it takes you twice as long to do the boss as it does to get there. So this glassway run is actually... And I think most people will probably be finding this is is actually not too bad. The other thing, and you'll see it right here, boom, is those snipers drop those uh, spider spider mines. Super super annoying, but especially be, they're annoying because obviously you get caught in them, which is annoying. But also you can't see when you're in them. So the reason why I I stayed even though I, I, I was kind of I was kind of hit hard. If I needed to, I would have put another another rocket on that overload. And why that would have been cool is because as long as my grenade's hitting him, I'll, I'll get devour for it because my grenade was still hitting him when he died. So I'll get I'll get the credit. The grenade gets the credit for it. When you get to this area, always come over here. Always come over to this left hand side because the first couple of ads, the first couple of uh, vandals. 
they ca you can take them from there quite easily. I don't like to jump over here when there's so many vandals. Uh, take out the spider mine, and then there'll be two more with an overload. So we take the take the the vandals, and then grenade on the overload. Controverse hold really helps get your grenades back. And you seen there? I was actually firing them with the auto rifle, so we don't know. You know, did I get the kill with a grenade? Was it the auto rifle? Who cares? The grenade was on him. It was doing damage when he died. So you will proc devour. It would it would happen as well as if I'd fired a rock at him. So, 10 minutes on the button. In this section here, you have to capture this plate and you'll get waves of ads coming, waves of shanks coming from left and right. I'm just going to put a rift down. I'm not going to leave the plate because the faster you capture the plate, the less ads you get. Uh, if you're doing it solo, it seems like they've took the snipers away if you do it solo. But if you do it solo, you don't get those big heavy shanks like the Fallen Saber shank. You normally get two of those. You don't get those if you're doing it solo. But they've took away the snipers as well. Because normally, periodically, you would get two sniper shanks. Uh, you get two of those, two sets of them. If you come in here and do it with a fire team, you get two coming from the right, two coming from the left at different intervals during this this section. You do it solo, you don't get any of those. So it does pay to do stuff solo. Uh, so 70, 70 odd percent. Now I get my exploders and one, once once we finish, I mean, I think you only get two waves of the exploders, two, two from left, two from right. And then that'll be this section, this little bit here done, then we're gonna get an overload knight, overload captain, sorry. And then there's gonna be like four or five uh, drag spawn on the left and the right. You can see them there falling down. So what I'm kind of doing is taking, two, trying to take two at a time. You know, go from left to right so that because if you don't, they get a chance to run away. You see straight away they want to run away. And although the dregs, you know, they're not going to snipe us. They will throw constant arc grenades, which <laughs> that's annoying enough. And then that's the overload taken care of. Now we can push forward. So now you're going to have a bunch of vandals. You're going to have a bunch of vandals. You're going to have a, a cap to, uh, uh, barrier champion. You're going to have sniper vandals up top. And you're going to have some shanks. I'll, I'll go here. And I do enjoy that grenade. I was kind of late in, in the Witch Queen, the Warlock. I, I, think, I think the game had been out two weeks before I started to do my Warlock. Because... I've played my Warlock so much uh, during uh, maybe the last two seasons. I A lot of people started to think I was a Warlock main. It wasn't. It's just because the Warlock was so good that it just helped to do stuff. Now with 3.0, Titans... I can't wait to get... It. It's not going to be a long video, but I can't wait for you to show you guys this Titan build. Uh, I actually, I actually have been playing on this, the, using this Titan build for a couple of days, uh, maybe a week, and I've seen a few videos come up of people talking about Titan builds, and I was like, oh man, somebody else found found this build. Nope, every one of them has been like, that's the best Titan build. I don't think it is. <laughs> so hopefully, either later on tonight or tomorrow, I'll get that video done. Uh, so, so. I, I really hadn't seen all the kind of cool things that the Warlock had, or hadn't experienced them myself. Now that I have, I can understand why what, why so many people now are going to stick with the Warlock. But trust me, it's 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 the year of the Titan. That Titan build is just amazing. But the Warlock has some cool things, and the, the reason why I've got on to speaking about the, this is the the melee, that pushback melee, that can come in clutch in so many different scenarios. Just the ability to be able to move an ad away from you. From it, it obviously it has a range. You know, it's not infinite range, which you wouldn't want it to be. No, well, maybe some people would, but you know, there has to be a payoff. But it's just so good to to have the ability to be able to shove enemies away if they, if they encroach too much, and apply, you know, that void kind. Of, is it a void detonator? You you apply that thing, and then get the explosion. It's, just so good so that really is the biggest part of the strike done now the strike changes no it's the vex strike and we start with the fallen here which are going to be the last fallen we're going to see 
and now we're going to get everybody's favorite we're going to get the wyverns and we're going to get overload uh, minotaurs and oh it's, it's 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 good times it actually was a lot easier than i remember this 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 part was a lot easier than i remember and um, what it, what it comes down to it's decision making you know what 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 i want to do i'm just going to jump up here i can get a real good view of the ads coming out of there and I want the overloads and the the belt, the transcendent hydra and all that to see us because we want them to come in here now I've used this little spot before this spot is really good for the overloads this spot should be avoided at all costs when the wide ones come out and the reason why is because you are a sitting duck up here with Y ones, and that forty percent acute that I mean, even if even if the forty percent wasn't a thing, even if that acute fifty percent, sorry, even if that acute burn wasn't a thing, you're dead up here with Y ones. So when when you first start this off, this is a great place to be because you can just crouch and back away, and you can complete cover from the overloads there's an overload there what we want is we want to be push more over to us you know because right so here's the thing i got rid of that trans transcendent hydra transcendent hydra is more dangerous than you would think you can run about and be cool as long as you don't run past it right but where, where the danger comes from this uh where the danger comes from the the hydra is the hydra Will, will go places that the overloads won't go. So this little radio Larian channel below us, it'll go right over there, and then you're, you, you know, you're not in cover now. I was a little bit close to that. I'll get the finisher here, and then the other one will push, but it's cool. And nearly got what we need. Yeah. The, the 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 hydro will push over there you can't crouch and it just has its way with you it can just shoot you from over there and even though it's not doing void damage it's still gonna sting so that's why i got 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 the 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 hydra out of there quickly we just want this overload to come and push us because we've got it finishable let's get as many bricks of heavy on the floor as we can uh when you get rid of that so so the ads that come in you get two overloads you've got the two hydras to start with two overloads and and a group of kind of smaller enemies when you get rid of what well, even when you do half damage to that hydra you'll get the next lot of ads two more overloads some more little ads once you get rid of this boss so once you once you once you get the second wave of overloads transcendent uh hydra will go but Belmond will still be here. Now you've got to get rid of Belmond to get the next wave of ads out, which is, are going to be uh, Wyverns and Barriers. So what I'm trying to do now is get Belmond into an area where I can kind of have my way with them a little bit and, you know, safely. And this is the best place to do that is right over here. So we want to get him over here. Because you've got this, this, these stairs here, this little wall in front of us, right? Just looking at the health he's got. This little wall in front of us, where we are now, if I put a rift down, uh, I can basically stand here. I'm just waiting for his shield to turn. I can stand here and do a, 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 a decent amount of damage. So look at the damage that's doing. I put my grenade, which weakens enemies, onto, onto him. So I'm pretty confident... The next rocket I fire, I can just fire it and go. Because that will that will take his first health bar away. So that's what we're going to do. Fire the rocket. And then we're going to make it all the way over to the, the, the portals. Because now we're going to get the high... The, the, as you can see, the Transcendent Vex has come out. Now we're going to get the Wyverns. And what, what you want is you want to get rid of the Wyverns quickly. You don't want those... You know, you don't want those ads... Uh, walking around, you don't want these these guys walking around, because even though the the, the, the shots that they fire aren't precise, they, they do a hell of a lot of damage. So, what we've also got here 
and you've got plenty of time because you've just got you've just got uh, the transcendent hydra. As we've got time to take out the barriers that came out with the the. You see, there's there's one of them. I should have just threw that at the top of the stairs, but luckily it just clipped him. He's walked back into it now, so I just want to get rid of rid of these guys. Uh, and I want to get a finisher just to, just to produce heavy should I need it. You know, you can never you know you can never be be too safe. So there we've got six rockets. I know I've still got heavy in, inside, but I want I want to keep that because the the heavy inside will be easier for me to pick up. I won't, I probably won't be able to come out here and uh, and and just pick up heavy at will because after this this is probably the safest you're going to be. <laughs> Is during this part with these two champions because all that's left is these two champions and the transcendent hydra and the transcendent hydra although it as i've already said hits you relatively relatively tough it's not really going to chase after you the way that belmont does the the main hydra the boss hydra so what we've done is thrown the nova to get, to get the next wave of of uh of uh, adds out, which, as you can see there, like I said, if you can get rid of the two, not a great, not great from the barriers here, but if you can get rid of the two, the two uh, wyverns, then it's half the battle, and that that was a little bit annoying. It was my own fault, really. Uh, I shouldn't have attacked them. I should have tried to separate them. So we're just going to move. I've got three rockets left. I don't know what I've got left. I don't know what what uh, bricks I've got left. Now uh, we've got one brick there. That's brilliant. There's one of the champions there. I don't want to get involved in a, with a champion when Bel when the transcendent Hydra can sneak up behind me. So this here, where you are here, the transcendent Hydra, I'm pretty sure can't come out of that doorway. So we just want to try and sometimes the sometimes the the barrier champions go inside. One of them will go in that center part and walk about inside. So here we go. I think we might have been able to split them. No, nope, Belmont's still there. This is where I like this where we are right here. This is where I enjoy taking the barriers from. It's brilliant to take the barriers from here. You've got cover. Uh, we'll just put a rocket on him. Just get rid of one of the champions. And there's the other champion. So what we can do is we can put a grenade and we can shoot through this little corner. Now, I am going to try and finish him and just replenish my heavy. We're probably going to be able to finish him before he can shield up again. There we go. That gives us full heavy. And now what we've got to do is to, to get... Because we are basically now at the halfway point of the boss. So once we get rid of the Transcendent Hydra, then we're going to get uh, the, the Overlord Champions back out and so on and so forth. So we'll go back up here. Not great. Not a great place to attack the Transcendent Hydra. You'll see what I was saying beforehand. I, I need to put a rift down here. Because he can back away and just, you know, do, do, do his business can have his way with you and there's not much you can do about it so except if you put a grenade and a galahorn on him he doesn't like that and i'm not surprised i wouldn't like it either so we want we want the overload champions to come in here now as you've seen i don't think we got i don't think we got the transcendent hydra again i think it's just belmond and then once you get rid of uh I think what you've got to do now is you've got to take down Belmont's health. Yeah, that's right. So in this wave, you're, we're not going to have a Transcendent Hydra. So there's what Overload tried to run away. It's unfortunate. So there we go. There's one down. Uh, we'll just take out some of these ads. More heavy. Thank you. I'm trying to get this. I don't want to get caught by the other overload. I don't know where he is. 
So I can go round this pillar. Just go and have a look and see what's up here. Right, it's Belmond that's up there. I've got my heavy. You know, when you see that raid there, you're like, you know, well, I'm thinking, is that the overload? Am I going to jump down into some heavy void blasts? So we're just going to go around here. Can't see them there. Got to be... It's, there's an exploder. There's another one inside. That's another exploder. And then we're going to turn around and see what that was that was pushing us. Was it Belmond? Well, we don't know because they've ran away. And what, what actually happens is the overload is up there. And... But so is the boss. So I need to drag the boss away to take the overload. There he is. And he's been caught. And he's gone. So now I've got to drag Belmond round to this spot over here. So I can do damage to him to get the next wave of overloads out. And it's basically rinse and repeat. What's going to change during the run is I'm going to do... I'm going to get rid of the... Tran next time the Transcendent comes out... I'm going to try just to get rid of him. So we can see that he's he's uh, he's there. Just put my Nova. My Nova does all the required damage. And now I want the overloads to see me. I want them to come here. So I'll jump up. And throw the grenade. That stops him. I can actually go down and push. Even if the other overload had came out. The grenade lasts because obviously I've, I've, I've got the fragment on that the uh, my my grenades last longer than the weakened enemies, so that would have sat there. Uh, I'll just throw my grenade now and just take as many of those ads as I can. Now this is where I think this is now where the overload is over to our right. It wasn't it wasn't the last wave, it was this wave. The overload is over to the right hand side. So what we want to do is uh, just wait for Belmond to see where I am now. Belmond will track me through the wall, which is what brings him back over here. Which means I've just given him a little look. He'll fire at that area. Now I can go and take the overload who is over to the right. I think he's there with, with, with uh, a, go a goblin. I'm, I'm being tentative because obviously the overload does a lot of void damage. So I'm not really wanting to get myself in a situation where I'm facing him up. So when I look out here, I see the goblin and then there's the overload. So the overload teleports. We know he's going to do this. I'll put it here. He's going to have to teleport close to the grenade. And the great thing about the grenade is uh, it will sit there, not only do damage, but weaken weaken the overload so again I never managed to take that goblin but because of where Belmont has pushed he's pushed way over to the other side I can go out here and just look down and the, the goblin is like you know he's lost his protector he doesn't know what to do I'm gonna grab the heavy that I created here and go out and now when I get when I do damage to Belmont uh, we'll just Britain getting back over here. I want him over here because I, this is I wouldn't say I have problems here but this is the point this part here is the point that I'm uh, I'm always a little bit uh, thingy with is the last set of wyverns. Because you've got both the hydras and you're going to have wyverns it's really difficult to do what you've done the first time you've got the wyverns it's really difficult to just like do a little bit of damage and then, you know, you've got to get rid of the wide runs quickly, but you've also got both the hydras out. So there we go. We want to take care of the one of the wide runs ASAP. Both of them if we can. So you can see as soon as he appears, I put the big thing on him and then I'm gonna hit him with the the the, the Hit him with the bow. The problem there, you see now we've got the the hydra out, the transcendent hydra. The problem there was, uh, you see there's, I can see him in the back. Just put a galley on him, move straight away. Did it kill him? Yes, it did. 
So, that's the first two Wyverns out the way. Now we've got to do damage to the t Transcendent Hydra to get to get the next two out. But the other thing is, we have barriers out as well. There's two barrier champions that come out, as you guys will know. So, I'm not going to worry about the barriers. Not, not to the point where I need to take them. It would have been nice to take one or two of them. Uh, but with 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 your boy here running about inside, I'm not going to get that opportunity. So what I'm going to have to do is try and take the Transcendent Hydra. So we'll go around and see what his health's like. If we can get rid of him, the, the barriers won't be a problem. It's, it's the Wyverns. So I've got three rockets. I need to keep two at least for the... For the wyverns there we go that's that's uh that's a transcendent hydra gone and i've missed the wyverns when i go out here there's going to be one coming in now the great thing about the wyverns which most people don't realize is until they actually see you you're golden They've actually got to see you. There's a barrier, and there's going to be a Wyvern coming in there. That's what I kept my Nova for. I kept my Nova for a, 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 a Wyvern in case I got pushed. Now, there's maybe a couple of little ads about. There's a couple of barriers, but I'm going to show you something about the barriers, right? Where we are now, that is where I'm going to take all the barriers from. Now, I do try and get Belmont to move about until I settled on this. Just slide to get back in because Belmont he has attack sting. What you ideally want to do is get is get is get uh, Belmont to come over here. That you see, there's there's one of the the barriers. You want Belmont to get over here. Uh, so I broke his shield. You, you can't. You just when 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 Belmont's about, you just you just can't. You can't, uh, you can't just go out in the open and take a barrier like that. So what I'm going to do is go down here and I'm going to capture the, the, the barriers here. There we go. Now, that this isn't the way I'm going to be... Obviously, you know, when I see one, I'm going to try and take it because I want, I want platinum. All, all the barriers are up. I'm not going to finish, finish them. If I, if I can get a finisher, I'll take it. But I'm not going to be too worried about finishing them. But what will happen is, eventually, they'll go up. You see there? That is where they will go. And this, it's, it's, a, it's a shame for them. I tried to get a grenade up on, on that guy. And it just went straight through his body. And you can just take... You, you, all, all of them will go there. They will all eventually go there. And where we are, because we're on the left-hand side of this opening, Belmond won't come. He won't push into the middle. He he thinks he can see us through the wall. He thinks that we're closer to him. And even if he does come round here, because he can't see you, he won't attack. And there's the other barrier. Now, if we go here, then obviously he might come out now. Try and break his, break his shield. Uh, we can see the other one up top. But I want to kill this one. And now we've got that one up top. We've got a super. There's, you see Belmont's come. We need to get him to come back over here. That's because I went out to the middle. But because I moved, you see? Because I moved more to the left here. As soon as I moved to the left, he... Uh, he... Uh, he pushed over back to where we wanted them. A brick of heavy there. I'm just going to go out and steal that. Back here. Reload. And there's my barrier right back where we want them. Break his shield. The minute he's broken and he's, he's uh, defend, well, weak, in a weakened state, we'll put a Galahorn on him. We've got our super, got our grenade. Now it's just about finishing the boss. And that is the run. We're going to do exactly the same way we've done it previously wait for my rift put the rift down just to be ultra safe and then i'm gonna grenade um gr 
grenade sup up. Be careful when you fire your sup up. Be careful when you throw your grenade. And now, once you, once you fire both of those, you're probably going to have to put one more rocket on them. And that's it. That's the run. That's him dead. Be careful again, because as you guys will be well aware of the invisible wall mechanics that, that exist within Destiny. But that's the run, guys. Again, I'm sorry I couldn't get this out last week. I really been really really unwell uh but i'm glad that i'm able to start making more content for you guys again uh it's going to be a, a couple more videos probably probably on the channel today and then we'll get that titan run done and we're going to try and keep it consistent from here on in thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed the video guys stay safe and i'll speak to you guys in the next one